My guest today is Dan Ray. Dan, how are you doing? Great. How are you, David? I'm doing really well. I want to say welcome back to Microsoft. That's right. You went off and did your own thing for a year or two. Yeah. And I think last time I was in between Microsoft stints, right? I don't remember. Were I you? believe so. Okay. I believe so. It's been a while, though. It's been a couple yeah. of years. Yeah. It's good to have you back. Yeah. At the Microsoft good to be back. end of the show. Yes. Thank you. What's your role now? I am a Surface specialist, so focused on Microsoft Surface branded devices, first party to Microsoft. Hmm. How many Microsoft Surface branded devices are there? Oh, good question. There's at least six or seven different devices now that have the Surface name on them. Okay. Surface has been around, well, actually, the name Surface was around a long time ago yes. for those tabletop devices. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we sort of <laughs> re-engineered that name. Yeah, I'm not and, sure the backstory on and that. And it but became they, this this hybrid tablet PC, yeah. type, tablet lab type thing. Yeah, the tablet still tablet tales, tables I remember from <laughs> way back when. Uh, I won one of those, at, or it was a oh, gift wow. at a tech ed. Okay. For sure. Or no, it wasn't. Or no, it wasn't. It wasn't a gift, but you could buy one really cheap. You could buy wow. one at like seventy five percent off if you were a tech ed attendant. Okay. And I bought two. Wow. <laughs> the the I Surface One. Never had one of those. Uh, both the Pro <laughs> and the. What are they called? Oh, you're talking the. I thought uh, you were our, talking the tabletop. No, no, I never <laughs> bought one. Of those were oh, thousands of dollars. Yes. <laughs> never bought one of those. Uh, but I digress. Let's. Uh, so, what's um? You're selling to enterprises, correct? Yes. So I work in healthcare and life sciences now. What's as the a vertical. appeal of the Surface in particular? Yeah. So, Surface is a first-party device. Mm -hmm. It runs Windows 10, which I think is our topic that we talked about last time, and it's the only kind of OEM device that I'm aware of that every single version supports touch. So, oh. touch and stylus input mm -hmm. are also available across the line, whether it's a desktop computer, a true tablet like the Surface Pro, or a you know a hybrid device between the two, like the Surface Book. And mm -hmm. we now have a Surface Laptop. There's, there's a bunch of different devices. Let me see some of these devices. Here. Sure. You've got a couple of them. Sure. So this is, when I returned, the device I was um, having to give up Mm -hmm. as a uh, Brainstorm employee. And Brainstorm focuses on end user productivity and they gave me a Surface Book 2 okay. 15 inch. This device is a two in one, so it allows me to work with it as a kind of traditional notebook or tablet, uh -huh. but I can press a button for about two, two and a half seconds and then detach a 15 a inch tablet. tablet. Okay and use this independently, use this with a Surface Pen, mm -hmm. so I can use uh, different applications or just even drawing. And set this up to draw on technology and friends. <laughs> Excellent. I noticed this is, uh, you can't, it's hard to see from the camera, but there's actually a little message here, switching to tablet mode. Yeah. And so it's, uh, it's a different mode, the, the, the tablet. Taskbar disappeared, and right. it's sort of optimized for touch. Yeah. So the the idea with uh, tablet mode is you can switch either manually or have it automatic, where applications become full screen, uh -huh. almost like Windows 8 as an experience, mm -hmm. and then all of the application windows are full screen to make okay. it much easier to use with either finger or the the pen input. Uh, I, I remember this uh, when the Surface Book One came out. The one feature that was interesting was there's actually a CPU in the keyboard and a CPU in this device. Is that right? Yeah, there's there's definitely a GPU in, in GPU. both. So oh, okay. from a graphics perspective, that's one of the reasons in the Surface Book that there's actually a mechanical decoupling as opposed to just a... Um, with like a Surface Pro, you can just magnetically pull the keyboard off uh -huh. because there's actual... Um, secondary battery as well as a graphics processor mm -hmm. in the base. The button that you press to tell it to release makes sure none of the software that is running is leveraging that GPU or the graphics processor in the base. Oh, that's interesting. So will yeah. it just not detach if that's yeah. happening? Yeah, so it'll actually tell you, quit this application. I'd assume something like Adobe Video okay. or Games as an example would be something that would keep it from detaching until you close and, That's and why exit I don't that know game. Because I, although I do, I don't, I'm not really a gamer, but I do use some Adobe uh, video editing software, but I use it on my desktop. Okay. And that's why I don't know about that. Yeah. 
interesting. Yeah, so two batteries in the device, and then you can also actually dock it backwards. So I can put it in here where the screen is on this side as okay. opposed to the inside. Oh, so you can display to an audience? Yeah, the yeah. Okay. I can do like a tent mode almost or okay. use it as a tablet with a secondary battery and, and travel with it still in this form oh, okay. factor. Uh, and how does this differ from this uh, Surface Pro yeah. that you have over here? So this other device that I have is a Surface Pro 6. And this is a recent change where they went back to the black um, graphite or the, the okay. um, Black metal. is the new silver. Yes, yes. And uh, was originally how the Surface devices came. This uh, device was actually a consumer um, product that I purchased from the Microsoft Store hmm. and learned in this new role that there are both consumer versions of the Surface devices that you can purchase from the Microsoft retail stores or other um, vendors, Best Buy, et cetera. And there's also business versions of those devices as well. Well, that's interesting. We have that distinction among operating systems and yeah. some of the software like Office, but I haven't seen that among hardware. Yeah, this this is something that I think some of the other um, some of the other OEMs have that differentiation as oh, well. What, what's the difference? So some of the difference is the software that would be on this. So okay. the, this version came with Microsoft Windows 10 Home Edition okay. because it's for a consumer or a, a home use, and the Business Edition, which would look identical to this, would have different hardware potentially, mm -hmm. like uh, the the processor, or the the specs of the hardware, different warranty p potentially, as well as Surface. Um, would ship for business with Windows 10 Professional. Wow. Are there, what, what are the other categories of devices in the Surface family? So the Surface Pro is on version 6. Mm -hmm. We released another version of the Surface, which is called the Surface Go. Mm -hmm. and it's a little smaller, okay. but still that 2-in-1 fat, yeah, um, fa form factor okay. and a mechanical um, type cover, but just smaller. So okay. the keyboard Mechanical that I have on this. That there's no CPU or GPU or anything right. like that in the right. keyboard. You and, just detach you know, it. Just, uh, the no type cover still has a little bit of travel, but very minimal amount of travel oh, on the travel? keys. The, the actual travel when you press the key. Oh, okay. So when we first released the Surface, one of the things I thought was very unique was we had a uh, cover that actually just had, it, it almost felt like typing on a, a table or right. a, a piece of keyboard, uh, mm -hmm. cardboard. They, they offered both. Yes. And I know this because of yeah. that one years ago at the <laughs> conference. Um, and it was like $100 more yeah. for the, the one with travel. <laughs> yeah. My dad uh, opted for the type cover, which okay. was this version. And that seems to be the keyboard that won the... Uh, the oh, choice. To me. I'm, I'm yeah. a tactile guy. Yes. I know where, in fact, if it doesn't have a, see the, the J and the F are raised. Yes. I, have, I don't know if you ever worked with a keyboard that didn't have that. Yeah. That's a challenge for me. Yeah. Now that was the one on. thing that I noticed about even that, that more flat version. Yeah. It still had the raised keys so you could get your hands <laughs> yeah, in the so right they recognize position. recognize tactile is important. Yes. But, but so not I having just, any just movement. So travel yes. in this context means the fact that you press them and it actually physically moves yes. down. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody and else And I don't remember if there was they were advertising that there was no travel or very, very little travel. Okay. There was very little give to right. that other keyboard. And that was a problem for me because I had to type a little harder. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Wasn't getting the feedback I'm used to. And there's some other ones that aren't, that you don't have in your hand here, other types of devices, right? Yeah, a, yeah. The, the, what did you just mention? Surface has one? a uh, Surface Go, which Go, is a little yeah. smaller than this, right. but pretty much the same capabilities from a standpoint of is the kickstand. Is there a larger one? There is a. Uh, I need to have some friends I want to impress. There is a Surface Studio, okay. and the Surface Studio is kind of in between the Surface line of devices and the Surface Hub, which we have one of those in this room as well. Okay. What, and the Surface Studio is a large desktop that can be folded down almost flat hmm. for uh, almost like a drafting table type use for Maybe artwork or anything else. Hmm. It's a nice device. Um, what distinguishes the Surface? from other devices? 
I mean, one this thing is, this is your job. So yeah, one <laughs> one thing that I really like about it is it is a showcase not only for Microsoft hardware but the Microsoft software and suites. So when you think about Microsoft 365 and the capabilities we have when you talk about Microsoft Azure okay. or our cloud-based services and identity and management, and you think of about Windows 10 as an operating system and Office 365 and the things we can do there. Surface lights up all of those capabilities. So I can use a cloud-based identity to log onto the device. Both of these use my Microsoft credentials hmm, to log okay. me in. And then it has that management happening in a modern way as opposed to the way some companies have done in the past. Is that a feature of the hardware or is that a feature of Windows? That is um, Windows primarily, but the hardware itself also gets optimized through that process. So the okay. actual, um, hardware um, settings before the operating system even boots mm -hmm. is optimized over the life span of these devices as opposed to for one to maybe three years on some of the other OEMs. I don't know what you mean. With the, it's optimized over the so, lifetime? So um, any of the hardware settings related to you know battery settings to hardware that can be used on the device, over time a, a, a original equipment manufacturer will release updates for maybe devices or mm -hmm. new things that are coming out. Surface, in many of the, um, the versions that are even three, four, or five years old, there's still updates to those firmware, those hardware support oh, standards so that are happening. supported for a longer period yeah. of time. So the, the battery performance over time is optimized for the hardware. Um, the operating system obviously is changing as well over the lifespan of the hardware. Sure. But I still have a Surface Pro 3 that I'm kind of hard-pressed to remember which, which device I'm using because I have the type cover on both. Oh, it's they pretty much like. the essentially yeah, the this same a, a six, form factor. I think I have a 3 at home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it looks identical. Yeah. The only thing I notice is the 3 was the last version, I believe, to have the Windows logo on the, on the screen. So you had the oh, little Windows right? logo I, on the screen. Right. The only thing I notice is that you haven't lost your stylus yet, <laughs> and I have. <laughs> I do have the stylus, and, and hopefully it will stay paired oh, mine, mine was a lot magnetically. Mine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's take a look at the Surface Hub. Sure. Because you have one right over here. Sure. So this is a Surface Hub, and this is sort of an evolution of that, that original Surface, the tabletop, right? Yeah, yeah. The same yeah. technology is built with this. The third's uh, the multi-touch. Yep, and yep. So the whole idea is that you can start collaborating immediately, or you can bring content from different sources. In this case, this is off of my OneDrive for Business. Okay. So it's pulling a PowerPoint down to the device. Mm -hmm. And now I can present or I can use this to work with PowerPoint or with other Microsoft applications, including Skype or Microsoft Teams for collaboration. Hmm. And I notice you can't see it now, but you logged in with the keyboard, but yes. we don't need the keyboard. It's sort of, it's sort of in... Something like tablet mode. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a uh, touch first experience. Okay. But I can also use a keyboard with mouse or okay. trackpad in this case, and a physical keyboard maybe to type in credentials or yeah, to type something of, like anything. A lot of typing it, it yep. is optimal, but for just selecting, I don't know, open up a browser. That's obviously absolutely much simpler to do that than it is to walk across yep. the room. Thank you. Have this. And it really is kind of that tablet first but just a very large collaborative space, including things like a whiteboarding app. So if I wanted to, I could use the pen. I haven't tested the batteries in this. Looks like we've got the batteries in it. Is it just the pen? Does this, does this work? It does, it does if well, it you... Does, it does, but it's not drawing. Yeah, <laughs> it does if you switch this. So ah, that switches you from, I wanna input with my finger, to I want to use my finger to actually move around the canvas That's or cool. make things smaller, make things larger, that type of thing. This is an expensive device. What's the audience for this? This is good for situations where you want to collaborate real time. So the customers and in healthcare life sciences, we see a lot of agile teams okay. using this maybe for um, different types of meetings, different types of collaboration. Uh, you could use this in any kind of situation where you need to have that collaboration within maybe a meeting room like this where I already have a projector at the front of the room, but in a similar way to how I'm using whiteboards today. Digital whiteboards, because I'm signed in, I can actually do different things with the outcome 
but those get saved automatically to okay. my space. And these are the other whiteboards that I've used in other meetings okay. as well. Since those have been messing around. With, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the whiteboard app isn't only now on the Surface Hub. It actually launched as an application built into Surface Hub, mm -hmm. but now it's available from the web and on iOS as well as Windows 10. Oh, nice. So you could be anywhere and, and yeah, you know, basically, collaborate. Yeah, basically, yeah. And they could collaborate on this because you type in yeah, I. Yeah, um, I can even log in as myself from another device. So I could take my Android phone, log in to whiteboard.microsoft.com, okay. and even though it's me on two different devices, I could collaborate from either of those form factors and see almost Excellent. real time those updates. Very cool. Uh, let's go back over there. Sure. I love that device, I want one. And my birthday is tomorrow. Just, <laughs> just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, and uh, th so you're you're selling this hardware here, and there's also some accessories that go with that as well. Yeah, right? yeah. Tell so now, that. now there are Surface branded mice that you can use with Surface devices. There's uh, different colors available, just similar to the styluses. One mm -hmm. thing I like about the new styluses is they come in colors so that it's easier for me to tell when I'm at a tech event or a Microsoft Somebody event which one's mine, right? Yours. Mine's the blue one, not the platinum one. And uh, those mice are in the same colors. Mm -hmm. You can also get the uh, keyboards for the Surface Pro in those same colors yeah, the or the Surface Go. Teal or whatever. Yeah, yeah, blue, uh, red, there's the black uh, or platinum to mm -hmm. you know, express yourself a little bit. And then some of the other accessories, we also release Surface headphones. Hmm. So there's Surface branded headphones now. Nice. That makes sense. Collaboration. Yes. Put yes. your headphones on. Yeah. Uh, or put them on to either connect to the outside world or to shut out the external. Yes. Outside yes. Outside there's world. noise canceling, active noise two, canceling with a lot of <laughs> different levels, functions. different levels of noise cancellation. The thing I like about them is they work as Bluetooth or wired. So when mm -hmm. I travel, I can use Bluetooth with my personal devices, like a Surface to watch a movie or uh -huh. to do something with uh, sound. But I can also put a wired connection in if the airline that I'm flying has the uh, the in-seat entertainment, in-flight right, entertainment. Right, you can use the same headphones. I love yep. standards. Yes. Hey, that does headphones work with your iPhone, for example. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, excellent. And um, you have an online presence, do you not? I do. I'm on uh, Twitter. I'm on YouTube, as you are. Um, oh, what else? What LinkedIn. Are you doing on YouTube. I'm doing tips or tricks. So the PowerPoint that I brought up on the Surface Hub is something that I'm trying to produce every Tuesday and Thursday, huh. and that's to talk about a tip or trick about some Microsoft product, whether it's Windows, Office, it could be Mac, it could be iOS, Apple, Android, equal tips uh -huh. for every platform. Oh, excellent. Uh, send me the link and I'll put that I in will. the show notes. Awesome. Thank you. Dan, thanks a lot. Thank you. Today we talked about technology like Surface and the Microsoft Surface and that was with friends like David. <laughs>